Alright guys, welcome back to Zombies. So today I want to do something a bit different than usual. I want to do every type of contract in Zombies that there is. I know not all of them are going to be found in Tier 3, so we're going to have to go back to Tier 2 and do some of them, because it involves some uh, mercenaries, which you guys know I, I'm not really a huge fan of them. But I'm also going to use the Lockwood, because it's been a while since I used this gun, and it's still pretty great. I kind of wanted to use the Haymaker, but I want to show some love to the Lockwood as well. This thing used to be one of my favorite guns in the game. So, we're going to kick things off with, well, I mean, just look at my backpack. I don't have space in my stash for anything right now. So, we're going to use a PAP3 crystal. We're going to use a legendary tool. And, of course, uh, we're going to use this Ether Blade. I don't want to use the Mags of Holding. I'm keeping that for something more special. But I do have this Wonder Waff with me as well, which is going to help me do the Escort Contract in Tier 3. Because we're definitely doing that as well. And, of course, I'm going to pop it to 2, because why not? And we are ready to go Tier 3. Unfortunately, there's already a lot of people in there. But, you know, let's see what we get on the first contract. Let's see what we manage to find. All right, so we're in Tier 3. And we're going to kick things off with the spore control contract pretty fun one it does spawn a few zombies so it's not the easiest contract to do but you know if you're if you're paying attention and uh you keep those zombies in check you can definitely do it pretty easily solo so we're definitely gonna gonna go for it i should have bought some perks first but i do have juggernaut and i want to stow those decoys and then i'm gonna pick some more inhibitors up Throw one there. I do have the Ether Blade that's gonna make my life just a tiny bit easier because that's what you want in tier 3 to not have to deal with all of the zombies all at once. Okay, let's put those on again. Every time I just do this, I, I put all the inhibitors on and then I just uh, I just do another circle around to take them out. I feel like this is the easiest way to, to do this contract. I know you can actually put two inhibitors on uh, on a spore to basically you know open it so you can shoot it like instantly but i don't want to do that and i have a legendary path 3 lockwood and i know this thing got a nerf i know it doesn't shoot 10 pallets anymore but this thing is it's just so fun so much fun to use there we go we got two more this spore control was actually pretty easy and what I like to do, because there's going to be like a massive horde of zombies around you whenever you do like the spore contract, because the moment you, you throw a uh, inhibitor on one of the spores, it's going to spawn like five or six zombies on it. So what I'm going to do is just gather them around and then shoot this thing so it will kill like most of them. There's still some alive, unfortunately, but we can make quick use of them using this beautiful Lockwood. I mean, just look at this thing. It absolutely slaps. Unfortunately, I don't have speed pull out to play it up faster. And one thing I don't like about the Lockwood, and I enjoy more in the Haymaker, is the fact that you can play it up and reload at the same time. Look at that. We get some monkeys. We get Brain Rot. I actually need that for a weekly challenge. And I'm actually pretty disappointed that this week we didn't get an aftermarket part. We just got a blueprint for a gun. But the, the final camo looks pretty alright. Alright, let's move on. So we've done sport control. I guess we're going to go for HVT contract now. Our favorite for sure. Okay, so I managed to pick up the HVT. It's going to be Disciple. And I did went ahead and got all the perks. Because I had the money and I don't want to fight Disciples without perks. But we're for sure going to make quick use of this guy. But I just hate the fact that he does that, that annoying thing, man. But you know what? We do have the Wonder Off, and the Wonder Off can actually do some pretty nice damage to the Disciples because they take electric damage and the Wonder Off is doing a lot of it. And look at that, he's already like half HP. But in case you have this or a Scorcher, definitely use it because it actually does damage to the, to the guy. Alright, there we go. And we get the insta-kill, which is fantastic. And there it is. He died. Alright, so HVD contract done. And we get an epic tool. You know what? I'll take that. Why not? Okay, there is a freebie right there, which I really want to take. But I really don't think I have a chance. I'm going to try to. Alright, and I did manage to take the freebie. This is going to be one of the easiest contracts ever. I mean, every time you want to get some quick money. And if you see a freebie in tier 3, just go for it. Easy 5k. And you might actually get some decent stuff. 
when the game came out this contract used to be like the most insane contract ever for loot like everybody was just getting like the best stuff stuff all the time and oh server lagged out for a second i kind of got spooked i thought i crashed that would have been really bad anyways let's go this yeah so basically everybody was just getting ray gun cases or ray gun schematics from this or plants whatever they called like it was just insane how lucky you could get with this contract but it doesn't work like that anymore and there's a dead guy over there we might help him actually someone's there he helped him never mind all right but this is contract type number three let's see what we get we get nepa mode all right horrible but outlast contract spawned in and this is type number four and I think besides this, in tier 3, we can only do... Uh, what's it called? Escort. So let's go do this. And for some reason, I really want to do Escort in tier 3. Man, I kind of forgot how satisfying this weapon is to use. Like, yeah, it doesn't hit us hard anymore, but it's just still so good. Alright, so we start this. And I don't think I'm going to bore you guys with the whole thing. Because usually until like 50% nothing comes on. So it's going to be pretty chill and boring. There we have it. 90%. I love this contract compared to the Ray Stash. It's a bit more hectic. Like it's a bit more intense than that. And it takes a lot less time. You know. That one's pretty annoying because it, it literally takes forever. But look at that. We got speed cola and a path to crystal and we're going to go down. <laughs> this is zombies slap you pretty hard. It really feels like sometimes uh, Juggernaut doesn't work, man. Like it really feels like that. All right, but we're going to chill around in tier three for a second. I'm going to go buy another cell revive just so I'll have an extra. And I'm going to wait for an, uh, for an escort. I was about to say Outlast again, but I'm going to wait for an escort. And look at that. There's two big boxes here. Another epic tool. Always check these roofs, guys. Always check these roofs on this area right here. You can get some pretty insane stuff. But yeah, I'm going to wait for escort. And uh, yeah, I'll see you there. All right. So I waited a bit too long for escort. And it never showed up. So we're doing this. Defend ground station. This is a pretty annoying one. Uh, this we have to do all these three extractor kind of things and then uh we kind of have to defend a station from some uh, from some mercenaries not my favorite thing in the world it's pretty time consuming and annoying because it involves mercs but what can we do but you know it's it's one of the it's one of the contracts so we have to do it hopefully escort will appear in tier 3 by the time we finish this because if not we're just gonna we're just gonna do one in tier 2 i guess and we do have to to do extractors as well and uh race dash as well race dash i could not find it in tier three like they don't spawn in anymore all right so this is gonna this is gonna take a few a few minutes i think like two minutes or something like that so i don't think i'm gonna bore you guys with the with the whole thing i guess i'm just gonna see you at the end because basically some helicopters are going to come in and uh, we're going to have to defend from them. But look at that, they have uh, fire shields. That's pretty cool. Alright, it's two minutes and a half actually. Yeah, that's that's quite a bit. So I'll see you guys towards the end of it. Alright, there we go. We got ten seconds left. Jesus Christ, this thing makes it sound like it's, it's a new popping off. But not going to lie, this two minutes and a half... Pain. Absolute pain. Even worse than the than the race dash. But you know what? We got it. And let's see what, what we get in... I, I can't even speak. It's a blue tool. <laughs> it's absolutely trash. But these guys can actually be pretty annoying. And some of these guys actually don't die from one hit in... Uh, when you hit them with, uh, with the ether blade. So, let's go do extractors now. Because I really want to do that. And where do we have some? All the way over there. So I guess I'll uh, I'll see you guys back there. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to do Escort here because I can't find it in Tier 3. It just doesn't seem to spawn in. So we're just going to do this first. All right, here we go. Starting this. 
Unfortunately, tier 3 wasn't kind enough to give us this uh, this contract. And the worst part about it is that I have to go through a camp for it. Oh well, that is fun. I guess it's all good. Makes things a bit more interesting. I mean, I don't really have to go through it. I just have to go past it. But these guys have some pretty insane aim, so, you know. But I really wish that I could have uh, done this in uh, in tier 3. Just a bit more hectic, a bit more fun, more challenging, and probably more entertaining for you guys. And also, if you guys are still watching at this point, hope you enjoy what you're seeing. So make sure to smash the like button, it's going to be much appreciated. And also, make sure to smash that subscribe button as well. We're getting very close to 15,000 subs. Which is a very, very nice goal to, to reach. Well, thank you guys for all the support so far. Alright, there we go. First part is done. We have three parts to do. There we go. We're on the second part of the contract. It's gonna be a few zombie spawns right now. I love that he spawns a lot of zombies whenever you're doing this. And this is the perfect way to use your Wonder Wolf if you have it. Because there's gonna be a huge horde and there's nothing they can do about this weapon. I, I like I just I just absolutely love the Wonder Wolf. For this very reason. I mean, look at that. He takes out HVTs in tier 2 with just... No problem. Alright, let's go for the last part now. There we have it. The last part of the, the contract. It's gonna be, again, very, very easy. Let's get out the Wonder Wolf. Just shoot a few times. I mean, I didn't manage to do it with 100% health on the ACV. But it's still, it's still a very fun contract. I even wish it would have been a bit more intense, also. I mean, if you want really intense contracts, you can go to the Elder Sigil in the in the Dark Aether and do this contract. Like, that thing is just crazy hard. Especially if you're going in solo. Like, without the VR-11, there's nothing you can do to, to complete that contract. It's extremely, extremely hard. It's doable, but, you know, takes, uh, takes a lot of effort. And there we go. Contract complete. And we just have two types of contracts left. Oh, look at that. Deadwire formula. We got Deadshot. And that is going to be Extractors, which we have right next to it to us. And Ray Stash. So, let's go for it. There we go. Extractors. I kind of hate the fact that this thing, it's actually against Mercs. And not Zombies like in the Dark Aether. But for some reason, it makes more sense to be against Mercs. I don't know why. But it just makes more sense, I guess. Luckily, I have this Aether Blade. It's going to make my life a bit easier. Because I, I absolutely hate these Mercs, man. Why can they do so much damage? They literally have aimbot. And I also don't get why in Tier 1, there's only 3 Extractors. And then in Tier 2, there's 5. Like, why? That is not fair. And I'm pretty sure you get the same amount of time. There we go. Two done. Three more to go. I mean, look how they're beaming me, man. You really gotta be very careful with these guys. Can I... Can you die? And what makes this a bit more annoying is the fact that your guns are not gonna do the same damage that it would do to a zombie because Pack-a-Punch doesn't work on mercs. I think a full automatic weapon would have been better for this. But nonetheless, I, I still love this Lockwood so much. Yo! Did you see that? They do so much damage. Going down because of a stupid thing there. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And then we're gonna go for the very, very last one. Numero five. Yo, stop beating me. What are you beating me with? Is that a bath? There we have it. Contract complete. Nice need. And we get another blue tool. Yes. Just what I wanted from this game. Anyways, time to go for the last contract. 
which is Ray Stash. Again, it's going to be another tier 2 because, well, there isn't any in tier 3. So I'm going to use this uh, redeploy thing and find one. Alright, so we found one. It was actually very close to us. What I like about this one right here in the cargo zone is that it's actually right next to you. It's literally in the very next house. And once again, I'm not going to bore you with the whole thing. Like, this is taking two minutes, if I'm not mistaken. And there's barely any zombies. So I'm just going to see you towards the end, guys. All right, there we go. We're like 92% already. It's definitely a pretty boring and annoying contract. I, I really wish there would be more zombies or more elites coming in. It's just, just not fun. And we get Brain Rot and Cryo Freeze. So things that we don't really need. And tier 3 still doesn't have any of the of the two contracts that I was looking for, which is Raid Stash and uh, Escort. Because I would have definitely had time to do Escort in there. So, you know, it's pretty unfortunate. I'm pretty sure someone actually cancelled it. And maybe that's why he's not spawning in anymore. But anyways, so we did manage to get a few epic tools. Actually, three of them. We did get some monkeys. We got Pack-A-Punch 2 Crystal. We got Perks. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was a Sigil in there as well. Self-Revives ammo mods so nothing crazy but i'm pretty sure you can get stuff that uh, you know can be useful in the next game anyways that's gonna be for this video guys hope you enjoyed this if you did as always make sure you smash the like and subscribe button and well i will see you guys in the next one Bye bye